Hi, my name is Andy Colbar and I'm the training manager here at Riedel. Welcome to the Riedel Academy to go. A short video that will help you understand how to get a certain function working in your Riedel product. If you want to go a bit deeper and find out more about the technology that makes our systems work, then please do head over to the Riedel website and click on the Academy section. There we have all kinds of sessions from webinars to presentations, workshops, interactive online trainings. We also do in-person trainings. So thank you for watching this video and we really hope to see you soon. Hello, my name is Andy Colborn, and in this clip we're going to be talking about the function dim panel speaker. Now let's imagine you're working at your intercom panel, you have different calls coming in, different communications, maybe you're monitoring a couple of different audio sources, and someone comes up to talk to you in real life. Obviously you don't want that conversation with the real life person to be disturbed by the communications that are coming in on the panel, so you want to be able to just mute the loudspeaker in the panel so that there's no audio you're coming out there and disturbing you. You don't want to turn the volume down because it takes a little bit of time and also then you need to find the volume that you had previously when you go to turn it back up. So you just want a quick way to mute the speaker just by pressing a button. Or maybe you're working next to a neighbor, maybe you're translator Paul and you're working next to Martin who's working on the scripts and Martin's being really loud. So whenever you make a call to someone, maybe to the director John, then John is complaining that he can hear Martin's conversation coming through in the background of your call because you're sitting next to Martin. What we can do in those situations is use a function called dim panel speaker. And this is where we can choose a specific speaker on a specific panel and we can turn the volume down either by a certain number of decibels or we can just mute it completely. So if we want to do that, we can say that we're working on Paul's panel, as we can see here. Then we would select one of the keys. We right click here and then we add a function. Then from the list, we're going to take the option dim panel speaker. And then that will give us another window where we can choose which panel speaker we want to turn down. So let's say in this case, Martin, who's working on scripts. And we want to dim the speaker by, let's say, 9 dB. So that the background noise when we call the director John is going to be a lot less. Once we have that, we could click on OK and it would be working. However, the text that would be displayed on the key would simply say dim speaker. And that's not very informative for Paul. So if we go to general, then we can change the label. And so instead of saying dim speaker, we can make it say dim Martin. Obviously, we only have eight characters available, but we make it absolutely clear here that by pressing this button, we're going to dim Martin so that he's not creating nearly as much background noise. I hope that video has given you all the information you need. If you have any comments, please do add them in the section below. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe so that next time we release a video explaining how to do stuff with Riedel Artist, you're not going to miss out.